Welcome back to another episode here with Mufaro and Joyce. Joyce. In this video, we're going to talk about how to retain high paying home care clients. So before I do that, I want to talk about the three harsh realities that most agency owners right now are facing and what some of you new home care agency owners that are aspiring are also going to face these three challenges. So the first challenge is you're lacking focus. Once you lack focus, it becomes very difficult for you to retain high paying clients. Not only does it become difficult to get high paying clients, but it becomes very difficult for you to keep them. Now, what do I mean by focus? Focus just means that you're picking a very profitable niche within the home care industry. Now there's several niches that are out there if you want to make a lot of money in the home care industry. So some examples could be you are in the business of taking care of patients that have just come out of hospital. Maybe they are old and they just got a hip surgery, knee surgery, but they're relatively cognizant and they understand what they're doing. And all they need is somebody to kind of help them around the house and just to basically make sure they don't fall while they're recovering at home and maybe be in the position to drive that patient over to rehab, physical therapist, yes. and that sort of thing. So adding value on top of that niche will make you a lot of money and it will allow for you to be able to retain that client. Picking the right niche can be quite difficult and most people think that they're going to be stuck in that niche forever. No, you won't be stuck in that no, niche forever at all. In fact, you've seen brain surgeons, you've seen heart surgeons. Those guys make a lot of money. Because they're specialists. Because they're specialists in their field. Yes. So niching down is the way to go. Actually, you'll be very good at what you're doing because you've decided to niche down. So that helps you to actually focus on what you do. That's right. And that's why... Um, high paying clients look for because remember these people value time so even when they go and search on google looking for services that you have to offer they will search for a specific need uh, for example i like to use the dementia and uh, alzheimer's patients for example maybe there's a high paying client that is looking for home care services for their parents who have alzheimer's so when they go to Google, they're going to type home care agency that deals with Alzheimer's patients. So if you've niched down to that niche, you're likely to attract the high paying clients. Like I said, rich people do value time. When you niche down, you make it easier for them to find you. Yeah, that's right. It's easier to find you, especially when you've niched down and you're hyper-focused hyper -focused. on one sort of skill. It can even go as far as adding additional services, for example, uh, with the idea of taking care of patients that, that just got out of hospital, right? You can expand that same niche and start selling equipment. You know, those bed lifts, for example, they're gadgets that cost maybe $1,500, $2,000. You can sell to these patients that allow for them to maybe be able to get up easily. You can sell them walkers, custom walkers. Custom walkers. You, know. you can sell them even uh, recliner beds. Recliner beds, recliner chairs, yes. chairs that are easy for somebody to, to get up from. Actually, you don't necessarily have to because somebody might be asking themselves, investing in that kind of business, you know, it's going to cost a lot of money in terms of buying those equipments, but you can do what they call drop shipping. That's right. So drop shipping just means that as you have clients that have a need, you put yourself in touch with a supplier. So if you have a supplier, it means that uh, when somebody asks you for that equipment, you can say, hey, listen, I can get this for you. And you put your mark up on that piece of equipment. So let's say your patient is struggling to get in and out of the bathtub. You can tell them, hey, listen, I can get you this gadget that allows for you to be able to get into your bathtub easily and that sort of thing. And then you buy the equipment for 1500 you sell it to them for two grand 
that's how you can make you know, income. There are people who probably have never heard of drop shipping, and yes, you have explained about it. And uh, there are actually courses online that you can take. There's uh, what they call Udemy, U D E M Y. When you search for that site, you're going to see courses that teach about drop shipping. They're not that expensive, and yeah. I think it would make sense if you decide to get into that niche as well as an additional services to already what you are providing for the clients i think it's best to also advertise for example if you you get a potential client you also have to let them know that you have other extra services that you provide for example you're selling equipments like walkers the canes yeah canes i like that yes uh -huh. you have the wheelchairs you have the criner beds the opportunities are endless when you hyper focus on one thing yes. and this could be applicable to other illnesses as well you know what i'm saying but it comes down to which niche you pick number two is you're not charging enough a lot of agency owners they truly believe and i don't know why i think it has to do with lack of confidence they think that they should get into the marketplace by charging the least the lowest rates for their area and that's gonna hopefully attract the right clientele no no it's actually not gonna attract the right clientele you know how it is when people are not paying much they're gonna give you a headache <laughs> Yeah, it's like no one ever goes to a Bentley uh, dealership and asks, how much is this? If you have people that are asking you how much it is, that means they can barely afford it. That's true. And also when you're charging the lowest rates for your area, you're going to attract people who are on Medicare. Not that there's anything wrong with people who are on Medicare, wrong with that. but I'm just saying you want to make money. You want to get the high paying clients and how to get them is by charging the highest rates and by keeping them is by maintaining those higher rates. Because you're doing business to make a profit. So why yeah. would you want to charge people less money? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not saying that you shouldn't work with those patients that have Medicare insurance. No, but the disadvantage of dealing with clients that have Medicare insurance is that sometimes you might not get they pay on time. And remember, you have employees that you need to pay them on time. So that's going to make things a little complicated. And you remember, people want to be paid on time. So if your employees are also not paid on time, they're likely to quit and find another agency to work with that will pay them on time. You, you actually nailed the third point, which is if you are not charging the highest rates for your area, it means that you're not able to attract the best caregivers because the best caregivers are expensive. And not only are they expensive, but majority of them, if you pay them well enough, they're going to be loyal. They're going to do a great job and they're not going to think about leaving you, you know, and they'll do a really, really good job for your client. And you want caregivers that are happy. And in order for you to get those caregivers that are happy, you need to get paid the highest rates so you can pay them the highest rates. So it goes both ways here. And also you have to understand that as a business owner, your caregivers come first. They do. Because those are the ones that are going to be dealing with your clients, not you. You're going to be dealing with your clients when it comes to admin stuff. The sales part, the billing part, uh, maybe a little bit of customer service, checking in on them to see if they're liking the services. But if you have caregivers that are barely paid enough, they're not going to do a good job. No, they're not going to do a good job. Generally, in any business setting, if uh, the employees are not happy, they are likely not going to do a good job and they won't even care whether mm -hmm. you're going to lose the clients. So, so you're the one who's going to be mostly affected. Mm -hmm. So treating them right, hiring the best caregivers. If you're paying them good, you're going to attract the best of the caregivers. Yes, because everything is going to reflect back onto the services that are delivered to the client. And that's how you retain them. You can retain a client for at least six months, six months to a year. If you're lucky, maybe even years. Yes. And there's some people that are lucky to have uh, clients that they retain for two, three years. Even more than that. Yeah, because people are just like you and me. They will stick around with somebody that treats them right, that gives them good quality service. Yeah, they'll be loyal to you. They'll be loyal you? to you as yes. well. Mm -hmm. 
So it goes both ways. In addition to hiring uh, the best caregivers, you also have to make sure that you manage your time well. We always talk about time management in most of our videos, but a lot of people don't really value time like that. But high paying clients do value time. And also you're going to have um, cases whereby your clients need caregivers from Monday through Sunday. So just make sure that you also have somebody that is going to cover up for the weekends because there are going to be times that they will ask for a day off maybe because they have appointments, a doctor's appointment. So you always have to make sure you have a replacement because if you don't do that, your clients are not going to be happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not going to be a good look for your agency. When you're hiring your caregivers, they have to be there full time. If they can be there full time for some reason, because emergencies happen, just make sure that you always have a replacement. There's a quick exercise for you is try and observe those guys that do landscaping in rich neighborhoods. Now, I don't know if you've noticed that those guys make a lot of money. And the reason why they'll make a lot of money is because they know how to manage high paying clients. So even though you're in the home care business, you need to also understand that there are other people that are also servicing these high paying clients through other services like landscaping, right? You might find somebody that can just come in and do roofing. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Study those businesses. Yes, they're not in the same niche as you in the home care, but they're servicing high paying clients. Study how they move, study how they operate. Even drivers. You Even know, drivers. You have drivers. Service rich people. Rich people yeah. like driving limousines. Yeah, and stuff like that. limo those, drivers. Yes, they know. Study those people. Yes. Yes. So if you have a friend or maybe um, get to know some of them because they'll help you to understand how rich people operate. Exactly. Then they'll help you understand, even though they're not in the same niche they can give you some perspective on how to move and you can get some tips that way. So that's the last tip for you right there. And I hope you got some value from this video. And lastly, if you're interested in growing your agency, if you already started your agency or you're about to start your agency, you got your license and everything, and you're interested in getting more private paying clients, then I suggest you check out our course that we'll put in the description of this video. This course, focuses on Google advertising, whereby in your area right now, there are high paying clients that are searching for the services that you have to offer wherever you are. And they're searching for the services that you have to offer on Google and your company should be showing up in the search results as they're searching. So we can help you set up your Google ads, but schedule some time or give you a $150 discount on the price of the course. So I hope to see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.